All right, I'm going to do an update video here. Just let people know what's going on uh, with us, with our family. Um, we're here on our property right now. I'm not sure if I want to post this video before or after the sermon I just did. I'm not sure. Um, but I said in the other sermon, for those wondering, these are wild lupines that you see all around here. Uh, beautiful flowers uh, here in northern Maine. I remember being in Alaska years ago and they had wild lupine there and... and uh, I was in Montana at a different time. I had a brother that lived there. And uh, I don't remember if they had lupine there or not. But I think that they might. But whatever. Um, basically, uh, where we're at right now with uh, our lives is we are, uh, we had three main you know, big projects. Uh, and uh, one of them is done. Second is mostly done. And then we just have the third to finish up yet. And then we're ready for winter. We're going to be, you know, everything's fine. Uh, we've been living here now for <clears throat> probably about two, three months uh, off grid. Um, my stress level has definitely gone down <laughs> from the time of living in town. Uh, this has been a dream of mine for many, many years. I've, I've been, had a lot of different times of being off grid and uh, different, you know, countries and things even. Uh, different mission trips I was on, they they were off-grid properties I stayed at for, you know, a week or two or three. And uh, I've always dreamed of having this life. Well, here we are, and uh, it's it's very challenging, but uh, very rewarding as well, as far as uh, just the freedom to be able to do things and, and whatever. Um, so just want to thank everybody out there that's, that's uh, been a friend of the ministry for years and years. Um, and um, just would like to ask prayer uh, for uh, God's will to be done concerning the new ministry office, the relocation of that, because uh, that is still a very big um, drain on our, our time, our energy, and even our finances because it's a three-hour round trip, hour and a half up, hour and a half back. And, um, you know, the place we have just... Uh, is not going to work. We actually would like to get something smaller, uh, Lord willing. Not sure yet. We're just we're praying about it at this point in time. Um, we have the GoFundMe thing over there, and uh, thank you, thank you to everybody that has been donating towards that. Um, this ministry is is not going to go away anytime soon. It might get kicked off YouTube, but whatever. Um, but I just would like to ask prayer for that. The thing of the uh, new ministry office relocation thing. Um, we there really isn't anything available right now, uh, and we don't have the money to to really be able to do much anyhow right now. Uh, the amount that came in is not enough to really expand the ministry. Um, so please just pray about that. Uh, we would appreciate that. And the other big prayer request, which I mentioned in one of the live streams, is PayPal is starting to mess around with us and. Um, you know, I've been with PayPal now for, you know, over 10 years, well over 10 years because I had an eBay account um, long before I got into ministry. And um, so everything was always fine with PayPal. And then a couple months ago, they started to ask, you know, hey, we need to see, we need to verify that this is you. Can you please send us a, a you know, photo, your photo ID, your driver's license, whatever else, a scanned image. So I have an old flatbed scanner. I scan the image, you know, my driver's license, high resolution, collar photo, the whole deal. Sent it to them, and they said, we couldn't make it out. Okay, and then they said, we need a utility bill to prove it. Okay, well, here's the utility bill. Same thing. Photo, scan, full resolution, high resolution, whatever. Uh, collar photo. Not some cheap copy machine or something like that. Uh, well, we, we weren't really able to, to get the information we need. Uh, we need to see proof of social security number. We need to see proof of your uh, tax number. We need to see proof of your, your business name, name and house registered in the state of Maine. And we need to see proof. We need to see proof. And it's just gotten so ridiculous. And, you know, we provided the proof. And, and, and they don't even respond back when we do. It's just, oh, okay, well, we need to see this now. And we need to see that now. And, and we have to... to you know, see these other things. And I said to my wife, I said, you know, it's, it's interesting because our bank 
you know, I mean, PayPal is kind of online banking. Our physical bank that we deal with here in Maine, they've never even asked to see all that stuff. My ministry has a, has a you know, bank account, a business slash uh, personal bank account, and they never even asked to see all my tax number type of stuff and whatever else. They're always very good to deal with. So PayPal asking to see all this stuff is just ridiculous. And then I found out recently that PayPal has been going after, you know, conservative type of people and things. And, and uh, so basically our account now has a limitation on it where we get donations from people. All we can do is transfer it to the bank. We can't buy, we can't use PayPal to buy anything anymore. We used to buy things through eBay a lot as a way of, okay, we need these things for the home, this stuff. You know, we ordered uh, different types of, you know, even nutritional types of things, whatever else over eBay. Can't do it anymore. Um, so I'm not even sure if I can get orders anymore. Uh, people order the external hard drive, and, you know, that's a problem because in the future we're planning to come out with more things uh, to sell, more offline videos and things and, and uh, other, you know, possibly books and things like that in the future. And now I can't do any of that. After being with PayPal for over 10 years, never had a problem. But now all of a sudden, I'm supposed to provide all these papers, and I do, and they still say, oh, we, we're going to have to just, you know, knock your account down a little bit here and whatever else, and you, you can't buy now with our service anymore. So, you know, persecution is definitely coming to Christians. Uh, it's already here. And uh, I, had, I had put out a thing there saying, you know, um, what would be a good alternative to PayPal? I mean, I don't, I don't think eBay accepts anything but PayPal. Uh, so that's kind of a bit of a bummer. But, you know, I guess, you know, there's other things I can use, Etsy and things like that. My wife uses, you know, Etsy for things that, you know, I'll say, could you look this up? Or could we, you know, you need, we need to get some of this or whatever else. And she'll look it up on Etsy or, you know, whatever. Um, so uh, give me your suggestions. I already had a brother suggest something. Um, can't remember what it is right now, but just haven't had time to, to check into it because we're down here a lot more than we're up at the office. And um, so alternatives to PayPal for online banking. Uh, I've heard about the thing of Bitcoin and I'm a little bit eh, on Bitcoin because of the whole thing of the market spiking and you get, you, you all of a sudden you're rich and then Oh, now it's not worth anything and whatever else. And, and I understand all the all the money type of stuff in this world is manipulated. I mean, it's ridiculous. So I understand some of that. But I just, I don't think it would be right to have something like Bitcoin and, you know, people donating to the ministry through Bitcoin. And then all of a sudden the value goes like that and I become a millionaire or something. You know, I, I just... Mm -hmm. I don't think that that's right. I think that uh, wealth should come from the sweat of your brow and, and you know, laboring with your hands. Um, you know, and that doesn't necessarily mean you have to be a farmer or a logger or a construction guy or whatever else. Uh, I think it's just, you know, just laboring. Um, if you have an office job, you're still working hard and putting in a lot of hours and things. It's mental, you know, work. But uh, I think that that's where your wealth should come from, not because the market changed and now you're rich or something as a result uh, you know I have a problem with the whole Bitcoin thing honestly so um, that's not one I'd be open to in other words but uh, if there's any you know anybody that has any suggestions out there different types of things that could be used that I can switch ministry stuff from away from PayPal um, get it me it's, it's it's just open persecution I mean it's, it's ridiculous uh, give us all these private documents that you really don't want to share in an online form. Um, and then when you share them with us and you show that, yes, you are a legitimate ministry um, registered in the state of Maine, you know, uh, now we're just going to reject all that and just pretend that we didn't actually see any of that. I mean, so, um, but really, really looking forward to uh, doing a lot more work for the Lord it's it's been a thing where I've I explained it before of um, we're here uh, so much stuff to do we've been getting a lot of rain here so it's been a problem with firewood because we you know do a lot of our cooking on a wood cook stove so um, 
you know, our, our wood, you know, that we've been using is getting wet and whatever else. And I have to build a wood shed. It's back that way. <laughs> and um, I don't know if you can even see it there in the photo, but it's over here. I'm going to be building a wood shed. And it's, you know, just trying to get things done. The basics, I mean, you know, we bought this land and we're building from ground up. Um, you know, again, I've talked about that in other videos and things, so I'm not going to get into a big thing of why that, you know, when you're in video ministry. Uh, I will say this, just uh, to those that have donated to the ministry, if you've never heard why we do the, you know, we want to live the off-grid way, um, it's cheaper, definitely a lot cheaper. It's a lot more peaceful. We need, it in, in the kind of ministry that we're in where there's a lot of stress and whatever else, um, you need to have this peaceful environment here where you can come and just and just de-stress, unplug from the whole internet world and just say, okay, I'll get back to you then eventually. But um, that's that's why we do it. And uh, this property here does not have electric, you know, electricity available to it. So it's not really possible to ever have a ministry office here on this property, nor would we actually want it. Um, so that's that's why we're doing that. It's cheaper. That's that's the real the big issue there. Get a house or something like that on land or even a house in a small town or something. You're spending a lot more money. Um, and uh, and also, you know, um, I want a place where I can teach my son the kind of skills that that I've learned over the years. I want to be able to teach him how to log and how to you know, build things. He was actually saying this morning, we got up in our, and we have a little sleeping cabin that we built last year and it's still needs some work done to it. That's one of the three big projects that we're getting done. And he said to me, dad, he's sitting there, he says, dad, remember when I helped to build this cabin? <laughs> you know, I said, yeah, son. I said, uh, not many three-year-olds can say that. And I mean, picking up two by fours, you know, getting the box of screws for daddy and he's getting my drill and he's getting the hammer and the nails and he's you know he was there the whole time i'd climb up you know to the roof to work on the roof and he'd be down there holding the ladder you know three-year-old and it's just the way he's been raised and i want him to have that experience so that's that's another reason why we do what we do um being here and um you know just just the the peace that we find here and uh, if you don't you know if you've never been to a place like this well you wouldn't understand um, but you should, you should get out and uh, be in nature sometimes. So I think that's going to be it for the update. Um, but the two big requests right now are, uh, number one, the ministry office relocation. It's, it's really, really wears us out. This big, huge drive back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Pray that the Lord would open up the right place for us and that we would have the money to be able to purchase it. That's request number one. Request number two is uh, a replacement for PayPal. Um, something that's, um, I was going to say something that's not owned by liberal goonies, but, you know, we're talking about the internet here. <laughs> so uh, those two would be the ones that I would say, those are the two biggest prayer requests right now that we have uh, for all, all of our praying viewers out there, the friends of the ministry. And just, again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. My wife and my son, of course, would feel the same way. Uh, thank you to all those that support the ministry, that keep us going. Um, again, I'll just say this uh, to explain things. Um, you know, I made the decision years and years ago to stop producing DVDs and actually just give things away for free online. And because, you know, it was a brethren that actually said, hey, you need to start accepting donations for what you do, brother. And I fought that thing at first, and I said, ah, you know, it's just, I just want to do the thing here. Don't, people don't have to send me donations. And I remember a brother from Australia, and uh, I'm not going to share his name or anything, because, you know, weirdos go after people like that. But uh, a brother from Australia, this is many years ago, and he said, brother, he said, by you not accepting donations, you are limiting my ability to bless you when God has blessed me through your ministry. And he said, I want to be able to be a partaker in the fruit that your ministry produces. And I thought, well, I don't really have a good argument, counter argument on that one. So I said, well, 
okay, I'll see what I can do. And I had some people at the time that helped me uh, start up the PayPal donation thing. And uh, all these years later, well, here I am. And the Lord's kept this thing going, and uh, I don't know how much longer it'll go. I have no idea. That's up to the Lord to decide. Uh, I'm going to be here to preach His Word. Um, still answer people's questions as much as I can. But, uh, you know, do my best. Um, I think that's going to be it. So we will see everybody in future videos. Please do keep us in your prayers for the two big requests, the GoFundMe, new ministry office thing. The Lord would open up a place and we'd have the money to, to purchase it. And also the thing of PayPal. Okay? So that's going to be it. And as always, thank you very much for your support, for your prayers, and thank you for watching.